Hey everyone, Token Dave over here. The dorky Token Black Guy is just trying to get by. Now welcome to another edition of That Was Random. You know, so, you know, I saw something earlier this week on um, on Twitter. You know, I keep forgetting the name of the site. It's one of the com it's one of the comic book sites. You know, well, comic book pages that you know they post videos on Twitter, or YouTube, or Facebook. I keep forgetting the name. It's comic book something. And I saw a person ask the question of if Vibranium is solely in Wakanda, then how did Howard Stark get Vibranium for Captain America's shield? Okay. Now, my first reaction, you know, was basically read the comic read the comic books to find out and someone else said the same thing which i'm very grateful for however you know today on the bus you know on my bus trip i noticed some youtubers started posting things up and before i actually watch those videos i want to address how how it start got there now this sounds like something that has not been totally defined but I'm just going to, it's really freaking, this is something that really should not have to be explained, but, okay, so, oh, and I am going to go into spoiler territory, you know, so if you do not know anything about Black Panther, if you have not watched the movie, you know, I might, well, no, no, well, it's not a spoiler, it is a plot detail, but you know what? This is in league with the comics, and this is something that you find out in the very beginning. So, all right, I'll just, I'll just go on. Okay, so <clears throat> in the comics, Wakanda is the place for vibranium, you know, and basically the Wakandians, uh, basically the predominant um, god they worship is Bass, the Panther god. And the reason why Bass they worship Bass is because basically where they go to worship Bass, they have like a huge amount of vibranium, and you know they feel that that originally it was it, it was thought that Bass, the Panther God, like you know created vibranium, you know right there. We find out later that basically a giant meteorite or comet, whichever you want to say, you know, actually landed in Wakanda and thus the bulk, vast majorities of vibranium is in Wakanda making Wakanda a technological technological wizard and everything. You know, the most advanced technology technological city in the whole world, you know. But here's the thing. When a meteor or a comet crashes down onto a planet, you know, it just doesn't everything just doesn't crash down in one area you know as something is coming into the earth's atmosphere you know segments of rock you know or the meteor or the comet will tend to break off and when it does so it doesn't just go to one specific area it can be scattered out in a particular radius so we know that Howard Stark is basically like you know millionaire playboy at the time you know and so he probably was on an expedition somewhere in Africa you know and probably came across you know some vibranium and everything by like you know from a digging site you know? and that's possibly how Howard Stark in the MCU got the vibranium now keep this in mind in the comic books basically Captain America's shield is Originally, like, you know, not made up of vibranium per se, but some particles of vibranium and some particles of, of other metals. So it's nay indestructible, but it's not pure vibranium. It's a vibranium alloys and other metals that came into place to create Captain America's shield. This could possibly be the case in the MCU as well, too. Or basically Howard Stark found a lot of vibranium, but just merely not as much as claw found in the movie or that's like you know the abundance that Wakanda has but that's an easy explanation of how Howard Stark got vibranium and thus was able to make Captain America's shield in 
the uh, what you call it, MCU. So that's a reasonable logical explanation. Is that your theory? Do you think my theory is lame? You know, please drop me a comment below. You know, explain how do you think Howard Stark and the MCU got vibranium, or other theories like related to this topic, or other things related to Captain America, uh, Black Panther, or any other things in the MCU. Drop them in the comment section below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, Dr. Token Black Guy who's just trying to get by. I'll catch all of you later.